Welcome to the online ceremony of the European Museum Academy Awards 2021, coming from the Drents Museum in Asse in the Netherlands. We are connecting viewers from all over Europe. Please consider yourselves sitting in the first row. My name is Karl Muir and I will be your host this exciting evening. You are watching and witnessing a special ceremony this evening. Not just because it's online, but because for the first time the Academy will hand out three awards. Firstly, the well-established Luigi Micheletti Award that was launched in 1996. Secondly, the Darcy Award that dates back to the year 2010. And thirdly, the New Art Museum Award that we are presenting for the first time. To begin, however, I would like to learn more about the wonderful museum we are in. We chose the Drenz Museum as it covers all core aspects of our three main awards. It is an art and a history museum rolled into one, offering forward-looking educational programs. But let's ask Harry Tupin, the director of the Drenz Museum, for more information. Harry, thank you very much for hosting the EMA online ceremony. You're very welcome. Let the audience know, what does make the Trends Museum so unique, so outstanding? Well, I think we are um, one of the oldest museums uh, in the Netherlands. We were founded in uh, 1854. We have, um, we have various uh, nice spaces in the museum dating back to the 17th century. We are now in a former abbey. And this is where, where Drenthe began in, uh, in medieval times, so this is the oldest part of the museum. But we also have uh, modern architecture. And I think we have a very strong exhibition program. Uh, we had the Terracotta Army from China, we had the Dead Sea Scrolls from Israel, and now, very soon, we will open a large Frida Kahlo exhibition with her famous self-portraits. But feel free to have a look around. I will, for sure. I'm going to take you on a tour during which we will be revealing all three Academy Award winners. So it's going to be a walking award ceremony. So please follow me. But first, let's enjoy a virtual tour of all the applicants that are from now on confirmed candidates. The Luigi Micheletti Award focuses on innovative museums in the field of science, industry and contemporary history. 
This award has quite a history itself, since it goes back to 1996. All the previous winners have contributed to the name and fame of this award. This certainly applies to this year's winner. The jury, out of 15 people from 11 different countries, visited all the confirmed candidates virtually. They were very impressed by the quality of the submissions. Out of all applications, three finalists were selected. They are the Estonian Maritime Museum Tallinn, Estonia, Futurium, Berlin, Germany, the Textile Museum Tilburg, the Netherlands. We ask all the finalists the following question. What does make your museum the winner of the Luigi Micheletti Award? This is what they have answered. New exhibition in Estonian American Museum, the Fat Margaret Cannon Tower, has been quite challenging to all museums because it's an old medieval tower. It has been reconstructed uh, and renovated uh, before, even in the 1970s. But as times go on and uh, society and museum has new demands, and uh, we try to fulfill all this. Uh, criteria in our new exhibition and the new reconstruction here. It's innovative, it's, um, you can uh, find all information about the seafaring in Estonia and in together to the world developments. But uh, all the museum has been designed to be handled with handicapped people with very uh, sufficient um, way. Therefore, we think that new exhibition in fact Margaret uh, is uh, one of the best achievements of Maritime Museum what we have done in the recent years. To be clear, all nominated museums have deserved to be the award winners. They all strive for excellence in addressing audiences through innovative and participative approaches. And we as Futurium, we are just proud to be part of this magnificent group. Why do we think that we could be the winners? Well, the Futurium addresses one topic that touches all of us, our future. By dealing with this big issue, we follow an open approach. We constantly ask our visitors and ourselves, how do we want to live? And we try hard to give science-based information on potential futures as well as inspiration to tackle big challenges like the climate crisis. We do this with exhibitions, workshops, discussions, performances and digital formats. We believe that there are not so many museums worldwide comparable to ours. So of course we hope that you choose us. But if your choice falls on another great candidate we will happily cheer for them. We believe everybody has something with textiles. Textiles surround us and they are interwoven in all cultures all over the world. The steel Museum is not a traditional museum. The textile lab is its beating heart. Every day we facilitate here the artists, designers, fashion designers and architects to develop the endless possibilities of yarns. Our museum is a place in which we create a dialogue between the past, the present and the future. Our collection is an important source of information and of inspiration for our makers and for our public. We know that the textile industry has not always been social fair and uh, sustainable. Uh, we really want to contribute and see that as a moral duty and as a collective responsibility to work on that. The future is now. Let's shape it together. It sounds to me that all three of them could win the race, but the jury has decided upon one final winner. On this paper, the jurors have written down which museums has won and why. At this stage, I'm inviting Justin to join me. 
Justin Semgar is a spoken word artist and he will tell in his own words who is the winner of the Luigi Micheletti Award. Thank you. The Micheletti Award. We came here toward its 25th year and of course we've got a winner to cheer. But bear with me on this as we build some tension in this online convention when I first mention the three finalists. In Tallinn stands the Estonian Maritime Museum. They have two locations. If you can, go see them. The Seaplane Harbour and the Fat Margaret Tower walk through a corridor where you experience in real life the sea, its power. The German Futurium in Berlin is a brand new futuristic building. They exhibit opinions and visions about topics in society, science, technology and politics. As a house of futures they want to give, their guiding question is, how do we want to live? The Textile Museum in Tilburg, the Netherlands. With its educational programs and events, it is a place of innovation as well as presentation and preservation. It's a dynamic working place of a crafts, creators and designers crew. As well as an exhibition space encouraging the public to be creative too. And now I will present to you the winner of the 2020-2021 Micheletti Award. The jury really likes the clear presentation of crucial future topics and artistic installations. They admire this museum, it certainly appealed, because it aims to be an integrated institution that blends science, politics, business, the arts and the social field perfectly together in workshops, discussions and events. I'm talking about none other than the winner of the 2020-2021 Micheletti Award, Futurium Berlin, Germany. Congratulations. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Justin. My heartfelt congratulations to the Futurium in Berlin, a project that I have followed from the distance, and it's wonderful to see it now fully fledged. As representative of the Luigi Micheletti Foundation, now it's time to say, Liebe Freunde, congratulations. The aforementioned jury also weighed the applications for the DASA Award, which focuses on the excellence in learning opportunities provided by museums. The jury members were excited by the innovativeness and creativity of all submissions. Of all applications, they selected three finalists. And they are Rembrandt House Museum Amsterdam, the Netherlands. National Museum of Romanian Literature, Bucharest, Romania. Stapferhaus, Lenzburg, Switzerland. We also asked these three finalists a question. Why does your museum deserve the award? And this is what they answered. Hello everyone. My name is Hester Uitema and I'm head of exhibitions at the Rembrandt House Museum. In 2019, we had the exhibition Rembrandt's Laboratory on show. Um, this exhibition aimed to unravel Rembrandt's working techniques and to show the fascinating high-tech and low-tech research on Rembrandt's oeuvre. Um, our visitors loved this exhibition because they could dive into a world behind the scenes and become researchers themselves too. Um, together with the Experience Design Studio Trapped in Suburbia, we developed an exhibition which was personal, comprehensible, layered and hands-on. Um, during the, the period of this exhibition, we were not only an art museum anymore, but a bit a science museum as well. That was a very surprising experience for both young and old. For us, literature reprezintă specificul identității naționale și principala modalitate prin care suntem conectați cu alte culturi. Este un muzeu al literaturii naționale, dar mesajul său este unul universal, literatura fiind un catalizator al comunicării umane și interumane. Noi nu refacem canonic o hartă a istoriei literaturii române, ci o istorie critică și conectivă, racordată la marile teme, motive, personalități și chiar personaje. Păstrăm muzeul în pas cu prezentul, 
și ne îndreptăm atenția spre viitor. Ne adresăm nu unei noțiuni abstracte de public, ci fiecare individ în parte, fie că este vorba despre persoane cu dificultăți, despre minorități sexuale, religioase, culturale, întărind rolul social și nu doar cultural al instituției. Viața muzeului este asemenea vieții ființei umane. Niciun om nu poate merge pe drumul altuia, spune Krishna. Noi mergem pe drumul nostru convinși că muzeul nu este un paradis artificial, este locul unor energii, iar acestea trebuie trezite de exponate, de ambient, de vitrine și de cuvintele din manuscrisele expuse, prin creativitate și actualizare. Un premiu acordat unui muzeu al literaturii legitimează ideea de dezvoltare a individului prin lectură și scriere, două dintre activitățile umane formatoare pe care le promovăm prin programe și proiecte. Promovăm nu doar literatura română, ci și dialogul cu alte literaturi și implicit cu alte culturi. Și urmărim transformarea vizitatorului, spectator, în vizitator participant. Pentru aceasta suntem în Muzeul Literaturii Române din București. Drumul este deschis. The Staffel House deserves this prize because it takes responsibility in society. We are facing difficult questions like who can we trust? What is homeland and who belongs to it? What does it mean to be a man, a woman, or to belong to neither of these genders? The Staffel House focuses on these big topics that concern all of us. We are not providing simple answers because usually they do not exist. But we are listening and we are entering into dialogue. We question the present and we look at the past. With the material collected, we weave stories and build exhibition that shows The debate about challenging topics can be enlightening. And it's worthwhile to get in touch with people with different points of view, backgrounds and beliefs. And then you might be surprised to see some of your prejudices vanishing into thin air. So we would be very honored to get this prize. What inspiring ideas the three finalists shared with us. But who is the winner? Justin, would you please disclose the secret? Of course, the DASA Awards. DASA was the first winner of the Micheletti Award. Since 10 years, they have their own winner to chair. But bear with me on this again, as we build some tension in this online convention when I first mention the three finalists. The Dutch Rembrandt House Museum in Amsterdam. Discover a chamber of curiosities and the painter's life. In the laboratory, you can take a scientific deep dive. The exhibition program addresses current concerns because there's always something new to learn. The National Museum of Romanian Literature in Bucharest. Collections include 350,000 manuscripts, books, photographs, and other artworks from the last six centuries of past. While holograms and interactive tablets guide you through the day, they illustrate the story of Romanian literature in a modern way. The Stopfer House in Lenzburg, Switzerland is not a classical museum, but a theater stage. Visitors are actors of the present. Topics they debate are relevant to people's lives like fate, gender, death, and lies. They're creating an expanding community where personal involvement gives opportunity. And now I will present to you the winner of the 2020-2021 DASA Award. The jury thinks this museum is a role model in terms of its social aspirations and its scenographic implementation. They show courage with their program of education in order to open up the wealth of literature to its visitors, functioning as a vehicle for current social issues. I'm talking about none other than the winner of the 2020-2021 DASA Award, the National Museum of Romanian Literature in Bucharest. Congratulations. Well done, the National Museum of Roman Literature, a museum that I will be sure to visit in person on my next trip to Bucharest. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In this very special year, our best wishes go to Romania, who has won the DASA Award. Not Romania, but the National Museum of Romanian Literature. And it's a special museum. It's, it's a special museum who really tries to reach a new 
public by its programs and by its very impressive exhibition. So our best wishes, go to Romania, enjoy your award and hope we can visit you soon. Out of all applications for the Luigi Micheletti and the Daza Award, the jury was furthermore impressed by one museum project that is therefore rewarded with a special mention. And this goes out to the Museum of Troy, Turkey. The jury states, the Museum of Troy represents an exciting architectural landmark and allows visitors a new, revealing look at the world-famous archaeological site. A visit to the museum itself offers an impressive aesthetic as well as educational experience in an institution with its World Heritage Site is embedded in a still young national park. Annemise, you are representing the jury of the new Art Museum Award. Why this new award? Well, with this new award, the European Museum Academy aims to identify new role models. New role models in what sense? There are many social issues that are a major, major challenge to our contemporary society. And with this new award, we like to honor and highlight good practices, projects that address or respond social issues in an innovative and pioneering and creative way. And for us, they are role models because they show the relevance of art museums and galleries. Is there a sponsor for this new award? Yes, we were very happy that the AG Leventis Foundation endorses the importance of this award. For this new award, there was an open call for applications. How was the response? Well, we received applications from 10 different countries, a broad variety of museums, established ones, used ones, new ones, uh, small ones, big ones, and the applications were actually a testament to the challenges of today's social issues and especially the creativity on how art museums and galleries deal with them. This is certainly encouraging and motivates the Academy to carry on. But how did the jury deal with the fact that there were no previous winners? Well, we had an experienced jury uh, of nine experts from uh, eight different countries. And I have to especially thank Daniela Wagner, who was the chair of the uh, Art Museum Award, and she really did a great job. The jury had a clear vision on what we expected of the finalists of this new award. What is that vision? Well, our vision was to identify new role models, uh, new role models of excellence that can function as paragons of the social role of art museums. Examples that can be a driving force for new ideas uh, in the 21st century. And who are the three finalists? The three finalists of the 2021 Art Museums Award are the Trapphof Museum of Modern Art, Craft and Design in Kolding in Denmark, the Pinacothek der Moderne in Munich, Germany, and the Gallery of Modern Art in Glasgow, United Kingdom. All these three finalists were asked one question. Why did you apply for this new award? Thank you for inviting us to the European Art Museum Award. Through this award, Tapot wished to become part of a larger community of art museums dedicated to social responsibility. And we really hope to help creating awareness that art museums can be agile and respond to an ever-changing world and have a huge potential to create community across different social and personal backgrounds, stimulate creativity and support creative thinking, and that we can empower people with the experience of being able to both act and participate in the public conversation. Tapart's participatory and social engaged work is an essential developmental engine in our museum, where new methods and ideas are conceived and translated into changing the museum overall. And we thoroughly believe that participatory and user-orientated initiatives must be rooted in the organization and with a clear dedication of the management in order to become sustainable. Thank you very much. Hello from the Pinakothek der Moderne in Munich. I'm Bernhard Schwenk, curator of contemporary art. 
we are applying with our experimental art mediation program to get there. And this was necessary for us to realize that the museum has to open up if it wants to remain socially relevant. Hello everybody, I'm Miro Kramer. I'm an artist and social designer and the external head of the To Get There program in the Pinacotheque de Moderne in Munich since 2015. With To Get There, we are creating the awareness of the political and social potential of the museum and of art and its benefits for us all. We are creating bridges to all people from different social classes through a various experimental formats of art mediation and discourses. This award really hits the nerve of our time, so it could bring us the recognition and stabilization of our museum work by a neutral but very competent third party, both for the inside and the outside of the museum. Furthermore, this award could make our program to a lighthouse project for other museums, large and small ones, and we could finally start the exchange with a common goal, the museum accessible for actually everyone. Thank you everybody and good evening. Hello, my name is Gareth and we are here in the Gallery of Modern Art in Glasgow in Scotland. We decided to enter the EMA Art Museum Award because many of the priorities of the award around social justice, inclusion and participation really chime with the great work that we do here in the gallery around those sorts of areas. We have a small, passionate and dedicated team that have worked tirelessly in these areas over the past 25 years of our existence. Entering the award also gave us an opportunity to discuss with the judges and colleagues the breadth and depth of our work and it was a great opportunity for us to remind ourselves of our place in Europe. But who is the winner? Justin, would you please enlighten us who is the winner of the new Art Museum Award? Of course, the Art Museum Awards. We came here toward its first year, and of course, we've got a winner to cheer. But bear with me on this, again, as we build some tension in this online convention when I first mention the three finalists. Trepholt Museum of Modern Art, Craft and Design in Kolding, Denmark. It manages to address important social challenges and questions with art and crafts as a means of expression. They enable a variety of visitors to reconsider the function of art in our society. The human participation of visitors is their central principle. The Gallery of Modern Art in Glasgow, UK. Working with and for communities is in their DNA. Their organization wants dynamic conversations about the world we live in today. GOMA is constantly asking, how can we do a better job? They created a prolific feedback culture from which they learn a lot. Pinakothek der Moderne in Munich, Germany. They created Denkraum Deutschland, a thinking tank, in which artists and visitors are in active exchange about subjects like racism, globalization and climate change. Through inclusion and participation, they find inspiration in different communities and generations. And now, I will present to you the winner of the 2021 Art Museum Award. The jury thinks this museum is a perfect illustration of how you can change the way people see art for the benefit of creation. It is putting the social challenges of this time, light or dark, in the center of its focus to work with art. Because museums need to change lives. I'm talking about none other than the winner of the 2021 Art Museum Awards, the Trapholt Museum in Kolding, Denmark. Congratulations. It is always a special honor to be the first winner of a new award. My congratulations go out to the Trapholt Museum of Modern Art, Craft and Design, Kolding, Denmark. But Annemies, we mustn't forget a special commendation. That is right, we have a special commendation. The Pinacothek der Moderne got a special commendation. Because the Pinacothek uh, der Moderne developed the, together their project. That is a strategic program designed to foster social inclusion and cohesion. And being one of the largest museums of modern art and contemporary art in the world, the project has become a platform from which the museum is rethinking its historic way of working 
and actively contribute to, towards being relevant for future generations. Thank you, Annemies. You're welcome. And thank you very much for representing the jury of the New Art Museum Award. It was a great pleasure. Since 1978, the AG Levens Foundation has supported the arts and humanities, and it's our very great pleasure to support the establishment of an Art Museum Award that recognises and encourages this engagement. We congratulate the European Museum Academy for this initiative. Many congratulations also to the first Art Museum Award winner. There's one thing we all learned from the COVID crisis, that is how valuable and indispensable real meetings with real people are. This was the online ceremony of the European Museum Academy Awards this year. Thank you very much again to the Drenz Museum for their generous hospitality. Thanks to all participating museums for their insightful and enriching programs they sent in. Next year, we will be back with a new edition of the European Museum Academy Awards 2022. So start thinking about your submissions. Because museums are very precious institutions, they help us to understand our past, to cope with our present and to advance our future. Museums are very privileged institutions that allow us to work with the transformative powers of art and beauty, culture and history in the service of a humane society. My name is Karl Muir and thank you for watching.